first look at Mixcave mod running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at new mod which is available for Xiaomi EU and Mi ROM builds for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. This mod is called Mixgave mod and we are going to check out the features which this mod brings to the Redmi K20 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Right off the bat, the first major feature is that it does let you choose between four different FOD animations which are different from the stock ones. So where do you find that? Well, for starters, you'll have to set a fingerprint on display and then you can go into settings, password and security, fingerprint unlock and then you can enter your pin and once that is done you can go into fingerprint animation now over here you will see that the animations are the stock but when you start using them in actual they are different so right now here is the pulse animation however when i lock my device and unlock it bam you can see that it is not the pulse animation which kicked in it is one of the custom animations which these developers have added which was being used Next up, you can customize the avatar size and the indent which you get when you get a call. So for that, you have to open your phone application and then click on the three bar menu at the bottom right. And then you can go into advanced settings, scroll down, you have these four options. One is full screen photo. And then using the other three sliders, you can choose the indent from the top of the caller's name, the indent from top for the avatar and the size of the avatar when you get a call and another feature is if you go back and you go into incoming call settings you can now have maximum brightness for your screen when you get a call so you have a toggle for that as well i'm not sure why they have the same option twice it might be a mistake but yes you do have the option of full screen brightness when you get a call next up they have a separate volume control for the notifications so if you go into settings sound and vibration bam here it is you have a separate slider for controlling the level of volume for notification ringtone and because they added that if you expand your volume panel you do have the separate slider for your notification ringtones as well and pretty smooth animations as always and while we are in sound and vibration some of the builds do have the option of controlling your music using the volume rockers in additional settings in sound i do not have it on this build but there are some builds of me rom and the stable eu build i think which have that option next up we have major customizations for your screen of animations and your menu animations so as you can see we do have some pretty cool animations going on here where do you find these well you go into settings then you go into display and animation off screen enable this toggle choose the animation which you want you have a bunch of options you can also customize the duration and have a look at those super cool screen off animations then you can also customize your list scrolling animation which is the animation which you see when you scroll through the list and your list interpolation is the option or the animation which you see for the specific item so right now you can see that when i scroll up and down the items are bouncing so that is the effect which i have for list interpolation and the scrolling animation is coming like a wave so right now it is set to right wave so you can customize these as well and you have a bunch of options for these as well and while you are in display if you go into status bar you can configure your status bar style so you do have the option of center clock which is activated right now and you can also choose to see seconds in your center clock next up you can customize the size of the clock in the open curtain what does this mean well if i swipe down you can see that the clock size is very small right now and if i change it using this slider the ui will automatically restart and of course i'll have to unlock my device and now if i swipe down bam you can see that the size of the clock increased then you have clock size so this is the size of the clock which is in the status bar right now it is set to 13 let's try increasing this and of course the ui will again reboot on its own and now the clock size in the status bar without expanding has also 
increased and last but not the least you can customize the size of the battery percentage but for that you do need to make your battery indicator as percentage only and as you can see right now it is set to maximum which is 18 and if i decrease it and unlock the device bam there it is you can see that the size has now decreased next up we have customization for battery so you'll go into settings battery and performance click on the gear icon on the top right and bam you have these two options to turn off mobile data when the device is locked and to clear cache when the device is locked these are going to increase your battery life because you're turning off data when you lock your device but of course you're going to lose on notifications from app which require data in terms of smoothness gestures no lags pretty smooth and all in all a pretty good mod in case you want to customize the look of your device and there it is peeps those were the features which makes give mod brings you with xiaomi eu and mi rom builds for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you